What is happening everybody? My name is Glyscore101 and welcome back to Glyscore Plays Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke Edition. After a, a very sad episode last time, we lost our darling friend who's been with us for so long, Ink Grid. But it's okay because Ink Nita's here. Yay. Ink Nita's just as good, right? Just as good. What are we doing? We went to the lighthouse last time, so that means now we have to travel across the seven seas. Yeah, Ink Nita knows surf. Ink Nita had to know surf, because otherwise we couldn't have killed Ink Grid. God, these names are fucking stupid. Who's up front, actually? Ink Nita. Uh, I guess Ink Nita works. She's the lowest... She's the lowest level except Rohypnol, so... Does that fix it? Okay, good. Hey. Hey. This is not good. Why is this chugging so hard? I have no idea what's going on. It's running so poorly. Maybe I'm gonna try and fix this. We'll be right back. One sec. Alright, and we're back. Sorry about that, but we're switching out Inconita because it's a tentacle. I should have actually thought about this. I might have to put Logan up front. I was also meant to use Dig, but hey, Swift is doing alright. We're still kind of just chugging along. I don't know why it's running so poorly today. I'm gonna have to fix this properly between episodes, but it's alright for now. Toxic spikes. We're underground, motherfucker. Actually, let's think about this. They used toxic spikes, a move that places spikes at our feet while we're in the water, but it failed because we were underground in the water. I know Toxic Spikes doesn't work like that, but it's funny that it threw Toxic Spikes while we were in the water and we were also digging. Both of our moves should not have worked on this terrain. Thank you for the repel, Logan. In fact, that gives me an idea. Let's use a repel. Great idea, me. We're going to avoid trainers. We just want to, we really want to just get to the new island. Water routes are always the worst. What do you want? Holy shit, he wants, he wants, he, this guy's Team Rocket. He's actively trying to steal our Pokemon. Yeah, I'm gonna beat you up with my Pokemon, and oh my god, it's one of these ones. Uh, running at two frames a second. Three frames a second. I thought this was going to be all tentacle, but I guess it's just all bad water types. Also, I know it's been two episodes, but two episodes ago we were fighting Morty, the ghost type gym leader, and I was so struggling to think of what the fucking ghost type of Gen 2 is. Turns out, the only one is Mistrevious. 
That's it. That's the only ghost type introduced in Gen 2. Like, why? I get they only had 80 Pokemon to add, but you could have at least added two or three, or at least a line of ghost types. Especially because there was only one line of ghost types in the original gen. Like, don't you think they should have been adding Pokemon of the different types, as opposed to, oh, we need more water types. How many fucking water types are, are there? I think it's like over 200. Water types is... I'm, I'm sure water type is the most common type of Pokemon. In fact, I'm gonna Google that. Okay, Google. What is the most common type of Pokemon? Let's see what it picks up from that. Also, I accidentally pressed switch. Ah, normal type. What? There's no way normal type is I must be reading that wrong. I suppose. Ah, uh, maybe most common doesn't mean the ones that are like the most, but they're uh, like they show up more often. That'd make sense. Water type is the one 16.5% of all Pokemon. Jesus. And it says 133, which is honestly less than I thought. But there's enough that there could be a whole gen. I'm gonna fight this person, we haven't fought enough trainers here. But, like, just imagine if they had a gen that was just water types. In fact, that's what fucking Ruby and Sapphire should be. You have one that only has fire types, one that only has water types. If you get a fucking lantern in the game that only has water types, then you're set. What would be the most po powerful Pokemon in those kind of games? Because if they're all part water, you'd want a lantern and like a Ludicolo to get that water grass. Are there any other water grass types? I feel like there has to be. I've talked a lot about what I want from a new Pokemon game. What I really want is them to just push the fucking envelope more in terms of dumb shit in the game. Like, have weird typings. Have, like, fire water types. Why not? I also really want something dumb, like, we've had so many rivals that are so forgettable. And like so many gym leaders that are so forgettable, what if you fight the first gym leader and then it's just like he becomes so inspired by you, he decides to become your rival. I feel like that would have been a real cool thing in like the black and white game where the first gym leader, oh shit we're already here. I guess we went the quick way. But like the black and white game, there were three gym leaders at the first gym. Imagine if one of them, probably the green one, Silen, because he's the one that follows Ash in the anime. Hi! That guy's up there. But, imagine if he just started following you around, wanting to fight you again every so often. That'd be cool. There has to be a Pokemon Center. There it is. I don't think there's a Mart on this island, because you're just meant to get the secret potion and then... DTFO, Chad, what do you want? I'm Chad, I'm a fuck your girl, Pololip. <laughs> Chad's gonna fuck Pololip's imaginary girlfriend. Pololip might be gay. Logan, for a fact, is gay. Definitive pokey fact, Apom gay. Are monkeys gay? Like, can monkeys be gay in nature? I know some animals are. Can. 
I feel like monkeys would be one of the ones that could because they're very human in behavior sometimes. Hey, Swiggy Coon. You're a big dog. Bye. You done jumping? I love how we were on our bike, so we were just like, pedal, pedal, pedal. <laughs> Sweet Coon is beautiful and grand. This guy has a boner for the water dog. Water doge. Oh, we're fighting. Fight me, dog. 1v1 me. Logan, kick his ass. I saw a bird. Kick its ass. Payback's a bitch. So's Logan. Why is Logan my highest level? I should also stop leveling up this normal type when I'm about to fight a fighting gym. Who am I gonna use at this fighting gym? I haven't been training Rohypnol at all because I'm still leaning towards boxing him whenever I find something better. I suppose uh, Hedwig is gonna have to be the one. Oh, Logan's got this too. <laughs> I was just like, I should stop training up Logan, and then I'm like, Logan, you got this. Thunder! Oh, Jesus. Okay. Fuck. That was scary. A stab 120 power move. Yeah, whatever happens, I'm switching Logan out. Because Electrode is faster, because Electrode's the fastest Pokemon a lot of the time. I don't know overall. Stemosaurus, you're a grass type. You can handle the thunder. I've decided that I actually like Bayleaf. Like, Chikorita, I still don't really like. Um, Meganium I don't like in design. Bayleaf, I can get behind Bayleaf. Its design's fairly cool. Meganium sucks. I also love how in the anime, Ash's Bayleaf is like in love with him. Something I noticed, because I was gonna do a binge watchathon, remember that? I'm never bringing that back, by the way. But, I was gonna do a binge watchathon on the Pokemon anime. I realized after I watched, like, the first season that, oh no, that's gonna get boring after, like, three seasons, because they don't switch out enough. But, I noticed in the first season, they do not give the Pokemon personalities. Like in later seasons, they worked really hard at giving each Pokemon a distinct personality. But in the fucking first, I should switch Stemosaurus out, Hedwig. But in the first gen, they like have nothing. Even Pikachu is super flip floppy on its personality and like, it's the main Pokemon. You should do something better with that. Insomnia bitch. Hedwig can't wake up. Or sleep. It's a real problem. Insomnia is a real issue. Get woke. <laughs> Holy shit, I want that on a poster. Like, just one of those, like, super pretentious call-out things where it's like, you need to know that depression's a big deal, even though, like, 
at all rational people know that depression is a big deal at this point, so you're just preaching to the choir. One of those for insomnia, but it's like, insomnia is a big deal. Get woke. <laughs> you know, just to twist the knife in the wound of people that can't sleep because death. I actually have a friend who has the opposite problem of insomnia, chronic fatigue, where they're just constantly tired and very worn out. People really, like, I feel like there's been a big push where people understand certain things. Like, people get depression a lot more now, I think. But there's a lot of different illnesses that people don't get. Like, my friend with chronic fatigue, a lot of people were like, Ugh, so you're just tired. And it's like, fuck off. It wouldn't be called chronic fatigue, a serious condition. Like, it wouldn't have a named serious condition if it was just, oh, I get a bit sleepy sometimes, and I have to go for a nap nap. No. It's actively, your body cannot stay awake sometimes. And your muscles ache and all this other shit. I feel like people just don't like whenever they don't know something. And people don't, you don't study diseases that you or someone you don't know have. Like doctors do, people in the actual profession do, but can you give me flyers at HM? Okay, fuck you. I was hoping she'd give it to me beforehand and I just couldn't use it out until after the gym. Hi. That looks like it hurts. But yeah, people don't study the illnesses that they don't have or friends don't have. So you don't know anything about it. And that's fine to not know something about something. But the issue is, a lot of the time people think... Well, I haven't heard of it, so it can't be that bad. It's not cancer. And that's just such a dangerous mindset that... Eh, they're probably exaggerating. That was not very effective. Surf and Turf and Kanita. Yeah, we're getting you out of there. Man. I really wish that you were Inkgrid. Inkgrid was great, wasn't she? I loved Inkgrid. Inkgrid MVP of this run. Honestly, that episode I recorded... This is actually the first episode of the Nuzlocke I've recorded during the day. It's like 3 in the... <gasps> Because, why didn't I think of that? It had ice punch, it had... Fuck! Who have I got? Stemosaurus, weak to ice and fire punch. Rohypno, so level, low level. Logan, weak to mock punch and mock punch goes first. Azula's my safest option right now, and Azula is not a heavy hitter. I'm just gonna have to hope Ember does enough. And it's fast as shit. I was really relying on Flame Body there. Alright. We're playing the Switch game. It shouldn't use Ice Punch or Fire Punch on Azula. So, hopefully Stemosaurus can get in, resist Thunder Punch, and survive an Ice or Fire Punch. Come on! Come on, Stemosaurus! Fuck! I should have thrown Rohypno one to die. Yes! I'm sorry, Rohypno, I didn't mean it. 
God, I'm gonna actually have to use Bro Hypno now. <laughs> Shit, alright, we were we were woefully unprepared for this gem. <laughs> Hedwig, no! Shit! I was super counting on Hedwig for this gym. Why didn't I think it's a Hitmonchan? I was too busy talking about how people are dicks to people with illnesses. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna wait till- I'm not gonna cut off the episode with some bullshit next time thing here. We're gonna have to bury Hedwig now. Good thing we've got two Hoot Hoots to replace her with. Owl Lynn Rickman. Owlison Bree, that's right. God damn it. Hedwig. I loved you like you were my own bird. That's the, not the least. Goodbye, my friend. I don't know who I'm gonna get to carry notes to Sirius Black now. Well, fuck. Hang on. Can Togetic learn fly? One second. Togetic fly HM. Come on, Google. Dog attack fly HM. <laughs> Good autocorrect. Togetic. Come on. Let's see, we might be getting a- we might be getting a- seeing the sunny side. Gen 4. Fly! Yes! Welcome to the Team Sunny! You are level 1. That's not great. Shut up, Erwin. Just the slowest heal as we mourn the loss. Man, Hedwig, that sucks. I loved Hedwig. Ish, I don't know. Hedwig was alright. I mostly liked it because it was a Noctowl, and Noctowl was fucking cool. But anyway, we are out of time. Thank you guys so much for watching. One like equals one prayer for Hedwig. I'm gonna have to grind... I was meant to go into Pokemon and see Sunny, but instead I clicked on that. I'm gonna have to grind this little fucker off screen. But I'll see you guys next time on Glasgow Plays Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke Edition. Bye bye. <laughs>